everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Samantha, this is PS Baby J. I do declutter videos, weekly vlogs, um, lots of other types of videos, so make sure you comment, like and subscribe to see more. So if you're not new here, you know that this space means a declutter. This is my vanity area in our spare bedroom that used to be only my beauty room, but now it has a bed in it. Um, and this is where I tend to do all my declutters because this is where a lot of I, this is where I keep a lot of my stuff. But I was out a walk with James today, and I've been kind of putting off this declutter because I know there's a lot of stuff. However, I would like to say that a lot of our things get like if I declutter things, I pass them on. I don't just throw things out. I only throw things out if they're expired or need to be thrown out. But like somebody in Paul's work just got a basket the other day of the stuff that I decluttered from like my face products and she was so happy with that so this is my body products but these are just the ones that are kept in this bin. So I have an Ikea unit that has three of these boxes. This one is like bulging at the sides because of how full it is and it's also really heavy and the reality is some of these things I don't really reach for very often so I need to go through them and figure out what I'm keeping, what I'm not keeping, and see if we can just make this a little bit better. So I'm just going to go through it, I think, product by product first, and then we'll look at categories and how much I have of everything. And we're just going to see if I can get rid of some things. But let's get started. Ooh, okay. Currently, this is the tan that I am using. This is the Soleil Mousse, the Express Dark Tan, 60 Minutes. I like tans that last, that are like the 60 minutes so you can keep them on for like one, two or three hours and then wash them off. I don't like sleeping in tan and like fake tan. Um, it freaks me out. I don't like it. I move a lot. I sweat a lot in my sleep and when I sleep in it, it tends to just end up really messy. So I'm going to keep this. This is one of my favourite tans. So this is definitely staying. I'm going to keep the St. Moritz version of it as well because I haven't used it yet. I need to use it. Um... But I'm going to keep this, use it when that one's done. Because this one, I have been self-tanning a bit more often recently. In the winter, I tend to self-tan a lot more. Which I know you'd think you'd do that in the summer. But in the winter, I like to be tanned. I don't know. Um, I'm going to keep the cocoa brown. However, I need to look it up because I need to decide. Because this is a bit green. I've had it for a while. I don't know if I just didn't shake it up enough the first time. But I used it the other day. Um, the other week, sorry. And it worked fine. So I'm going to keep it for now. We're not doing very good with the declutter part here, guys. Oh, I don't see anything that I can grab and declutter yet. Okay, let's see how it goes. Um, I'm going to keep this Volterol. Yes, this is up here. Uh, if you don't know, I suffer a bit from like hip pain and stuff. And this is just quite good for back and muscle relief. So if my hip's really sore, if my knee's really sore, sorry, you can see a lot of texture on my skin, but this is just real life. I didn't really plan on filming today, as I mentioned earlier. So I don't have like a ton of makeup on. I literally just have brows on. This is my face. Anyway, I'm gonna keep this Volterol because it's good for when my back's sore and helps. So I'm keeping. Okay, I'm gonna pass on this Body Shop strawberry yogurt. Strawberry body yogurt, not actual yogurt. It does look like a yogurt. Um, because I like it enough but I never reach for it the scent is good but I'm just not somebody who does a ton of moisturizing of my skin I should but I just don't the reality is when I get out of a bath at bedtime I don't always think about it I want something that like sinks into the skin faster than this so I'm going to pass that on so they'll be happy to have that keeping at random Wilkinson Sword Quattro for women sparkle razors. They are kind of sparkly actually, they're like peach. Um, razors are expensive. Pretty sure I got them as gifts, so keeping them. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna keep this Aveeno Daily Moisturising Body Wash, but when I'm I'm gonna move on to it soon. So I bought a ton of body wash not that long ago. And I've realised that I have a Bioderma one that's a body oil wash and it's a litre and it is taking me so long to use it. So I have a ton of body wash, which means I can't buy any more body wash until I'm finished. I bought several, I think, in that Superdrug video and I just can't. 
Okay, I'm going to keep as well this as another shower oil. This is the Lirene. I'm not sure how you actually say that. I'm pretty sure it's either Polish or German. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Polish. But let me see. Yes, yeah, Polish. I get confused with this all the time. I know it's Polish. It smells amazing. I get it from Notino. It is always in my Notino hauls. When I place an order at Notino, I tend to buy it because I use it. But I have to finish the Bioderma one first. Okay, I'm going to keep as well this moisturising body oil. This is really good. I like to like pour in the bath and use like moisturising as I'm in a bath rather than when I get out. Okay, I'm going to pass on because I seem to have, I mean at the minute, I can see two of these The Righteous Butters by Soap and Glory. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass one of these on because as I said, I'm not using this a ton. I'm going to keep one in the hopes that I'll use it. And if it's not, if I've not touched it by next week, I'm going to get rid of it. But I'm going to keep one just now. One is going to get passed on. So that'll be good. I'm going to pass on as well this deep moisture body milk. Oh, I don't know though. Maybe I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it. I've not used it yet so I want to keep it and use it. I'm going to keep the other. I have two of those strawberry body yogurts. I'm going to keep one of them because I don't see the point in passing on two. But I need to like use them. So I think this is my plan. I have to use, I'm going to see in the next week or two how much I use. I'm going to put a real focus on using up some of these body cares, body care products, these like moisturizers and stuff. Um, I'm keeping these, these lady speed sticks I can only buy in America and when I'm there I buy several. I can see right now six, four, five, there's one up there behind the camera, I'm pretty sure there's another one in there. These are in Shower Fresh and I love them. I don't like spray deodorants so I'm going to keep those. Sorry, I'm just going to put them over there just now because I'm getting too many things here. Right, let me see. I'm going to pass on this mini of the Righteous Butter. I have never ever taken it with me when I've travelled anywhere so I don't need a mini of it. Oh, I'm also going to pass on this In Shower Body Moisturiser. I used to love it, however, as I said, I'm not using it a ton and somebody else will be happy to have that so that can go in there. Here's another mini. This is the Frosted Berries one. I'm going to pick the scents that I like the most. Mm, that's quite nice. So I think I'll keep that for now. Right, let me have a look at some of these tans because if they're not the 60 minute one, I'm getting rid of them. But if they are the 60 minute one, I'm keeping them. So that's two more of the Soleil 60 minute tans keeping. In hindsight, I'm going to get rid of actually this Coco Brown one because I know I like the Soleil one. I don't see the point in using one that isn't my favourite that I don't necessarily love when I have so many that I know that I like. So I'm going to keep the Soleil ones, I'm going to get rid of the Coco Brown ones. So we're now at five products getting rid of, which isn't too, too bad. I mean, I'm still keeping a lot, but it's better than what it was. Um, I'm going to pass on this La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant because I just don't know if it will work for me. And I have, as I said, those other deodorants, so I'm going to pass that on. Somebody else will be happy to try that. I'm going to pass on, I think, let me read this. This is the Vita Liberata Tanner. But I need to see how long you need to keep it on because if I need to keep it on for longer than like an hour. Yeah, to 48 hours. Nope, goodbye. Somebody else will be excited to have that. This is the Vita Liberata Invisi one, which I think has maybe gone off by the colour of it. Foaming tan water, mm, maybe not. Let me see, let me see. I'm reading the instructions to see how long you have to keep it on. It doesn't say for this one, but I'm going to get past it on anyway because I think you have to keep it on for longer. And as I said, I can't sleep in it. Don't like it. So that's several products being passed on. Keeping this deep heat pain relief spray, same similar idea to the Volterol, except in a spray form. Too deep heat though. So I feel like one needs to go downstairs or in another room and one can stay here. That one's got a broken lid so that can go elsewhere. Okay. 
I'm going to keep this Deep Sleep Night Oil by This Works. I love the Deep Sleep line. I love the candle. I love the bath salts. I love the foaming bath. Let me see. I have Better Sleep Foaming Bath here, which I'm keeping as well. They have the like lavender. This is the Deep Sleep Shower Gel and this is the Night Oil. So I'm going to keep both of them because they're amazing. I really like them. I have one, two different shower like mousses that I'm going to keep. As I said, I'm not buying any more shower products just now or like back body products like this until I use them up. So I have two of those to use. So I, I currently have like four or five different body washes, which is completely ridiculous, but I'm just not going to buy any right now. Okay, the Righteous Butter Body Lotion, I'm going to pass on because it's not my favourite scent. And if I'm keeping the smoothie star, you know what, let me see what I want to like the smell of more. That's like almondy. Yeah, I think I like the Righteous Butter smell better. So I'm actually going to pass on the smoothie star and keep the Righteous Butter light version of it. So a little switch there, passing on the smoothie star because I don't like the smell as much as I like the Righteous Butter version of it. I have these two instant tans. Okay, I'm going to pass on this 17 Glow one because that brand doesn't exist anymore. I'm not even going to pass this on. This actually needs to go in the bin because the brand 17 doesn't exist. And even though I'm sure it would be fine and it wouldn't cause any issues necessarily, I'm just not comfortable with like passing that on to somebody when that brand hasn't been around for, I mean, the entirety of James's life. So over a year and a half, but several years. But I'm going to keep the Sun Shimmer Instant Tan. So... If I do not have time the night before to use the um, one hour one and wait, then this is what I use and it just comes off when you're wet. Like as in, if you're out in the rain, it will come off and it showers off. So I need to watch this one because that would be very specific. Say it's water resistant. Unsure how resistant. I've never put it to the test with water resistance because I just don't do that. If it's raining a lot and I need tan on, I make sure that I've done it the night before or I don't wear tan at all. I'm just, I am the person. My luck would be, I would be the person that would go outside, it would say water resistant and I would get rained on and then end up with damp patches. That's actually happened to me before. Several years ago, I used one of those instant ones and then had patches of where it was. Okay, I think I'm going to pass on as well this Derma Spa Dove Uplifted Body Lotion for all skin types because, so it said up, it says Uplifted Plus is our first spa like body lotion to blend satin gel with cell moisturizers. Let me see what it feels, ew, ew, that's like expired. It's like all separated, ew, that's going in the bin, yep. Ew, 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 ew. Yuck, bin, bye. <laughs> so not passing that one at all. That's why I check these things as well. That actually smells quite nice. But no, that was all separated in the thing, so goodbye. Um, this Aveeno Daily Moisturising Lotion, I'm gonna keep as well because I am a, have a bit of sensitive skin. Not majorly, but like a bit. I've got these random lids that must be from like tan and stuff, I imagine. I mean, that fits on the other tan, so that's perfect. Um, but that's the Coco brand one, I think. Yes, it is. I can go in there to get like passed on. Um, I'm gonna keep this Bath and Body Works Pearberry Ultra Shea Body Cream because I love Bath and Body Works creams. I know I'm like contradicting myself here. I do like them. I just need to like have more time to do it. Okay, so if I am using body stuff, I tend to use this. I have another one of it somewhere that's open maybe another room but this is the egg mousse body oil and it's a mousse to oil and I quite like that because I feel like it goes onto my skin really easily and like sinks in quite well so that's quite a good one to use at times when I'm using moisturizer I'm gonna pass on this Dove purely pampering nourishing lotion I'm just gonna check it's not the same as that other one nope that one is not expired but it's totally fine got a fright there one of the things dropped so I'm gonna put that in there and get rid of it. Oh, just rubbing in creams now. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do once I'm finished, I've got a couple more things to go through. I'll put them back in and I'll see if 
I need to get rid of anymore. Okay, I have this Sanctuary body wash I'm keeping. But as I said, no more buying them. I'm going to keep this, my little Coco Sweet Dreams pillow mist. I have a pillow mist that I'm currently using and then this is my next one. I also have here two of the Shower Fresh Lady Speed Sticks. What I need to do is, so I, because I buy lots of them, sometimes what happens is... Sorry, I got a phone call there and James is just waking up, so I have like two minutes to finish this off. So... I am going to pass on this Body Shop um, Cocoa Butter Body Butter. That can go away. But I'm going to keep the raspberry one because I like that scent. And then the last thing in here, the last two things, sorry, is this Derm Spa by Dove Summer Revive Body Mousse. I'm going to try this and see if it works. And then if it's not, if, if it doesn't work for me, I'm going to pass it on. I know it's going to work. I mean, if it doesn't work for me, because this is one that you can sleep in because it's just a moisturizer. But I'll see. And I'm going to keep this aloe, 99% by Holica Holica, um, aloe vera, because I use that when my skin's feeling really dry. So let me put everything away, and then I'll see how we're looking. Okay, perfect. The tub is not overflowing anymore. So let me see how much we got rid of. Okay, so this basket is all the stuff we're getting rid of. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve products getting passed on, and two are in the bin. So that is a total of fourteen products gone. I would just like to say that I understand that decluttering kind of at times can rub people the wrong way because they think I'm just buying stuff to declutter. Some of this stuff I have had for a really long time and my lifestyle has changed. I've since had a baby. Things are just different now. But as I said, I'm trying to like just have less stuff in general. But that's those products leaving my collection. You know the reasons why. And... I'll do an update to this video in a few weeks about the stuff that I've kept um, or I'll mention it in a vlog or something but I'll make sure I link this video in the description box when I do that. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye!